devoured yet. There it is. Apparently very sweet tasting. You'll read. Uh, then when you taste them, you realize that they're not sweet tasting in the slightest. Oh, goodness, Viam, what's that over there? It's a lion. We are with the lions. Herbert found them, and they are in exactly the same place that they were the last time I saw them at this time yesterday. There's a pan off to the right-hand side. That's one of the males, Tigno, and he, of course, is the consort of one of the females. The rest of the pride is over there. And they're all lying down next to this water where they have been for the last 24 hours or so. This is not a pride of lions that likes to overexert itself by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> yes, they like to have a very relaxing time of it. Now we'll try and get a little bit closer to those cubs, assess their physical condition find out if they are recovering from their mange or if it is getting worse. And they remain, to my mind, by far the cutest animals out here in the wild. Clay, we don't know the answer to your question, to be honest. You've said, what causes a mange breakout? How does it thrive? Well, it, it is spread from one animal to the other by direct contact. And it's caused by a little mite that digs into the skin. And it's the same mite that causes this human skin condition called scabies, which is a very sort of um, unpleasant situation where, you know, if you're a human being with scabies, you get these kind of extremely crusty, itchy pieces of skin, and the same thing happens to the lions, and eventually it can actually kill them. But it's by no means a death sentence. Why? Why it's out here now, and why it has, um, uh, you know, why there's an outbreak now, I think it's too much of a coincidence to say that, you know, there's a drought at the same time, and it's purely coincidence. I think there's something to do with the, the drought, but I don't know exactly why it should be the case. Right, that fellow, oh, there we go, is now asleep. That's quite